Hello everyone, this is Amir again with the fifth video in the series for Microsoft Office Word 2003. Uh, just been covering the basics, so this is the fifth video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to d add clip arts and pictures. We'll also look at adding word art and also look at uh, borders and shading. So let's start with clip art first. Uh, whenever you want to do anything in Word, you always have to remember the cursor. So if I want to put the picture here, I have to click here. I'm going to put the picture up here. I go to Insert, Picture, Clip Art. Now up here I can type something, like up here I've typed computer, or you can leave it empty and then just hit go. So I've just typed computer, or I just change it to say car. And I can click on this picture or any of the pictures underneath it. I click it and it adds it. I close it. Now if I want to move this picture around, I just cannot do it just like that. So now if you want to move this picture around, you have to do what is known as the layout, the formatting the layout, so that you can move it wherever you want it. Usually you'll find that this, with this toolbar up here shows up, but sometimes it doesn't, so all you have to do is right click on it and say show picture toolbar. And then you can click here where it says, it's got a picture of a dog in a box and text wrapping, and then you can choose tight. Now I can move it around. I can move the picture around the way I want it, wherever I want it. I can even choose the option up here where it says behind text, so it's on in the back of the text. So the text is in the front and the picture is in the background. I can click it again and choose tight, but you have to make sure that the picture is selected, otherwise it doesn't work. If I want to remove it, I just hit the delete key. So let's look at inserting picture in from a file. If you have your own personal picture you want to add, you can go to insert, picture, from file. Now you can go to my documents, you can go to my pictures, if that's where your picture is. In this case I've got a sample picture and I'll just pick this picture up here and click insert or I can double click on it. Now the same thing, I can click on the picture and I can reduce the size by going diagonally. It's always good to go diagonally to maintain the proportion, so I left click and hold it when I see those two arrows in the corner, and then I bring it inside. Now the same thing, this toolbar opens up to make changes to the picture. If it doesn't, you right click on the picture and say show picture toolbar. Now again you can click on this text wrapping, and you can choose whether you want it tight. So you see it's kind of on the sideways. You can also increase or reduce the brightness. just a little bit control, not a lot. I can close this window if I want. If I want to delete this again, I click here and I hit delete. So that was we looked at inserting picture from clip arts and also from file. Let's look at inserting word art. So again, make sure your cursor is in the right place where you want it. Insert, picture, word art. It has all these nice designs that you can choose to, you know, when you're making flyers or you're doing birthday cards and things like that. So you can go ahead and click any one of these things and click OK and you can type something there. You can even make it bold, italic, you can make it size bigger and then click OK. Now you see that thing is added. I can click on it and I can make it small or big. Again, diagonally is best. Again, this window comes up. If it doesn't, right click, show word art toolbar. Now I can up here make a few changes like this, the text wrapping, I can make it tight. So I can move it around wherever I want. And then this up here, Word Art Gallery, I can choose that and I can change it to something else. I 
I can even click on the edit text and change it to something else. So this is word art. I click it and I can hit delete or I can just move it around somewhere if I wanted. So delete, it's gone. Now we'll look at uh, borders and shading which uh, allows you to put like lines and borders things around around things so if I want to put an underline all the way through under the word Canada I go to format borders and shading and I can choose what kind of lines I want it's double line single line I can even choose a color if I want it I can choose the width now you see in this case it's got a box around it and we don't want to put a box so I just click none and I'm gonna click here because I just want an underline. Now if you go ahead and change the line you have to make sure that you come here and click again so that the line is updated and you click OK and right there there is a line added. If you want to remove it make sure that your cursor is right there format borders and shading and click none click OK. The same way if I wanted to put a a border around this paragraph I select the paragraph format borders and shading page border and I can choose this word box and again I can choose the style of line I can choose the thickness in this case it automatically updates I can even choose a color and I can click OK oops what happened Is there something wrong format borders and shading box select it and click OK and there's the box. I can also put colors in the background of the paragraph so I select it format borders and shading go to the shading section and I can choose a color and I click OK so there is a color in the background. I can also add borders around the page so if I go to format borders and shading page border the center button on the top and I can say box so it puts uh, around it the whole page has a border I can also choose which document will have it the whole document just this section or whatever and I can also decide the different options here but for line thickness and the color click OK now if I look here on the top right there there's the line there's the border if I look in the pre print preview right there there is the border around it now if I wanted to remove the borders and all of these things so I can just go back to format borders and shading for the page border I just click none so it's removed no more there I can select this I can go to format borders and shading because I'm in the border section I click none click OK doesn't have the border same thing up here I can choose this format borders and shading in the shading section choose no fill and then click OK so it is removed so in this video we looked at inserting picture clip art and from file and also word art we also looked at format borders and shading and then choosing what you want to do make sure when you want to do a border around a paragraph you select it so that it knows where you need to put a border. You could even do more than one paragraph and then put a border around it. Thank you for watching.